of Doria, where towering mountains scraped the sky and emerald forests stretched as far as the eye could see, there lived a young boy named Ethan. Ethan was no ordinary boy. He possessed a heart as brave as a lion's and a spirit as adventurous as the wind itself. Ethan lived in the village of Oak Ridge, nestled at the foot of the great Silver Peak Mountains. From his bedroom window, he could see the ancient ruins that dotted the mountainside, remnants of a kingdom long forgotten by time. Ethan had always been fascinated by the tales of the lost kingdom, passed down through generations like whispers on the wind. One fateful night, as Ethan lay beneath a blanket of stars, he heard a voice calling out to him from the depths of the forest. Curious, he followed the voice until he stumbled upon a mysterious figure cloaked in shadows. The figure revealed herself to be a wise old sage named Aurelia, keeper of the ancient secrets of Eldoria. Aurelia spoke of a prophecy foretold centuries ago, a prophecy that spoke of a brave young hero who would rise to restore the lost kingdom of Eldoria to its former glory. Ethan listened intently as Aurelia told him of the trials he would face and the dangers that awaited him on his quest. With a sense of purpose burning in his heart, Ethan set out on his journey, accompanied by his loyal companions, a mischievous sprite named Sparkle and a noble steed named Thunderhoof. Together, they ventured into the heart of the great Silver Peak Mountains, where they faced fierce storms and treacherous terrain. As they journeyed deeper into the mountains, Ethan and his companions encountered all manner of mythical creatures, from fire-breathing dragons to cunning trolls, each presenting a new challenge to overcome. But with courage and determination, they pressed on, guided by the light of the ancient runes that lined their path. Finally, after days of travel, they arrived at the entrance to the Lost Kingdom, where they were greeted by a sight more magnificent than they could have ever imagined. Towering spires reached towards the heavens, their stone walls adorned with intricate carvings and shimmering jewels. But the kingdom was not as it seemed. It lay shrouded in darkness, its once great halls now overrun by shadows and despair. Undeterred, Ethan and his companions ventured forth, determined to fulfill the prophecy and restore light to the kingdom once more. With the help of Aurelia's guidance and the strength of their bonds, Ethan and his companions fought valiantly against the darkness that threatened to consume them. They faced trials of courage, wisdom, and compassion, proving themselves worthy of the title of heroes. And as the final battle raged on, Ethan stood face to face with the darkness itself, a malevolent force known only as the Shadow King. With a fierce battle cry, Ethan summoned all of his strength and courage, wielding the ancient sword of Aldoria against the darkness that threatened to engulf them. In a blinding flash of light, the Shadow King was vanquished, his darkness banished from the kingdom forever. As the first rays of dawn broke over the horizon, the lost kingdom of Eldoria was bathed in the warm glow of sunlight once more, its people free from the grip of darkness. And so, with the kingdom restored to its former glory, Ethan and his companions returned home as heroes, their names forever etched into the annals of Eldoria's history. And though their journey had come to an end, Ethan knew that the spirit of adventure would always burn bright within him, guiding him on new adventures in the land of Eldoria and beyond. In the land of Evergreen, where ancient forests stretched as far as the eye could see and magical creatures roamed freely, there lived a young girl named Emily. 
Emily had always felt a special connection to the natural world around her, spending her days exploring the wonders of the forest and befriending its inhabitants. One day, while wandering through the woods, Emily stumbled upon a hidden path that led deep into the heart of the forest. Intrigued, she followed the path, guided by the gentle whispers of the trees and the soft rustle of leaves beneath her feet. As Emily journeyed deeper into the forest, she encountered all manner of mystical creatures, from playful sprites to wise old tree guardians, each offering their own wisdom and guidance. Along the way, she learned of a great imbalance that had befallen the land of Evergreen. The harmony between the elements had been disrupted, threatening to plunge the forest into chaos. Determined to restore balance to Evergreen, Emily set out on a quest to seek the elemental guardians, powerful beings said to embody the forces of nature itself. With the help of her loyal companions, a brave fox named Finn and a spirited squirrel named Willow, Emily ventured across the vast expanse of the forest, facing trials and challenges beyond imagination. Their journey took them to the four corners of Evergreen, where they encountered the elemental guardians, air, earth, fire, and water. Each guardian bestowed upon Emily a magical artifact imbued with their power, and with each artifact, she grew stronger and more determined to fulfill her quest. But the path to restoring harmony was not an easy one. Along the way, Emily and her companions faced many obstacles, from fierce storms to treacherous terrain. But with courage and perseverance, they pressed on, fueled by the hope of bringing balance back to Evergreen. Finally, after many days of travel, Emily and her companions reached the heart of the forest, where the source of the imbalance lay hidden. There, they confronted a dark and powerful force that sought to destroy the harmony of Evergreen once and for all. In a climactic battle that shook the very foundations of the forest, Emily and her companions fought bravely against the darkness, wielding the power of the elemental guardians to overcome their foe. With a final burst of energy, they banished the darkness from Evergreen, restoring balance to the land once more. As the sun rose over the forest, bathing evergreen in its golden light, Emily stood before the elemental guardians, her heart filled with gratitude. With their help, she had saved the forest and all its inhabitants from destruction, proving that with courage, determination, and the power of friendship, anything was possible. And so, as Emily and her companions returned home to the village, they were hailed as heroes, their names forever etched into the annals of Evergreen's history. And though their quest had come to an end, Emily knew that the bond they had forged and the lessons they had learned would stay with them forever, guiding them on new adventures in the magical land of Evergreen. 